music's a powerful medium. It can take you through a narrative, it can build context, build atmosphere. Just understanding the power of music is so important. We had a pretty crazy ambition, you know, we said to ourselves, what if we had like a mini music video in every episode? In this gothic underground city, we all sin. If I bring a couple rounds with me, then we all win. I came back and brought the crown with me, the king's king. Music was a part of Arcane's development from the very beginning, which was definitely a conscious choice. There was a boldness, I think, in the character design and the world design. Just kind of doing and copying film music wasn't really doing this whole world justice. Music can easily be an afterthought, right? Where it's like, they create something beautiful, and it's like, all right, make music to this, please. Right, where we've always tried to be in a part of the conversation early on, and, and you guys have just been really knocking it out of the park as far as like, diving into that creative and really showing what music could be. I wanted to show you how the worlds are different. You have kind of, the, you know, the grimy underground and zone with music that's kind of alternative and grungy. But then in Piltover you have this juxtaposition of like the very sophisticated feeling of that, of that classical music. At the very beginning of when we started working on the Arcane soundtrack, we, we looked at all the different episodes and we kind of tried to always find, okay, what would be a moment that would be an opportunity for a big music moment? And so we kind of started building those scenes for that purpose. So I think a lot of it is about finding who's the right fit for which moment, for which scene. Episode one, was an effort to really hit that feeling of what it's like going into the underground of Zon and feels kind of like it lures you in, but also something that feels like, you know, a well-kept but really exciting secret. You know, B. Miller, I mean, she has that quality in her voice that makes you feel like you're in like the most exciting place. She can tell the story, you know, but at the same time, there's also the kind of sultry, whispery quality to it. That's why she was the perfect, you know, choice for this song. Episode three, we had this emotionally powerful moment between our two sisters. It was kind of impossible for me not to associate a lot of the raw emotions that Jinx goes through without just also thinking of Ramsey. I can hear the sound of a heartbeat before it goes out. Won't I mean, there's few voices I've heard in my life that have as much that vulnerable quality. There's a lot of pain in that voice too, and so it and captures, I think, that part of Jinx better than any other voice I've ever heard. The future of music here at Riot, I think we're just at the start of it. What could it mean for storytelling? What could it mean for esports, live performance? And so that's why I think for the future, it's, it's learning more and more about the capabilities of music and just the cool experiences and journeys we can take our players and fans through. I think we're living in this golden era where suddenly the world is listening to what video games have to say.